First of all, thank you very much. It's an honor. Thank really, you. really. If, do you like talk about your films or do you let the films talk about themselves? Uh, let the films talk about themselves. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because that's why you make films. Um, uh, yeah, the, the films are experiences, so it's really hard to talk about them and articulate well, you know. It's like it's something you have to kind of go into the cinema to see and it's hard to explain what, what you know, yes. why they, they're a bit like music, so it's like explaining music is very difficult, yeah, you know. Yeah. Film critics, what do you think about the film critics? I'm a film critic, but <laughs> We try to, I don't know, we try to explain another, another mm -hmm. people, the audience, about some things about your film. But yeah. sometimes the reviews are not good, sometimes the yeah. reviews are great. Yeah. What do you think about that? I think, um, well, everyone is entitled to, you know, their way of seeing things. And, you know, I, I don't read that much, but I think it's a difficult job. It's, uh, you know, also with films like mine, they're kind of hard to uh, articulate completely, mm -hmm. like what, what it is. And some people either love or hate them. They're like, I want cinema to be more explained than she's explaining, you know. But I don't want. I, I, I like sensual things where you, you know, like it's it's something where you can't exactly put your finger on it, but it makes you feel a certain way. And, and some people get that or not. But and I don't mind that, you know. You don't need to love my movies, you know, kind of thing. Um, but I love making films, and hopefully for some people, at least. Um, it's quite an essential experience and something you feel like, you know, I don't know, you can get inside the character within them, you know, yeah. They are, yeah. let so, me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you. Okay, <laughs> talking about the films first, why that interest in kids and young people so long in your films, why? I, I don't know, I suppose I started off, I was quite a kid myself. I was only, I was, I think I was 19 or 18 when I went to film school. Um, I made my first feature when I was 27 or 26, and the shorts before that. Uh, and so I was interested. I was interested in that time of innocence where, you know, I was quite a kid with rose tinted glasses, and then I started noticing like injustice in the world. And I, I'm sure I was a real pain in the ass teenager. <laughs> I was like, and I, I was interested in those moments where you know you're idealistic, and then the first thing you know you notice that like man's inhumanity to man, to quote Robert Burns, um, and, and that your, your worldview changes a little bit, and you know, we're all made up of post-traumatic stress in a way, do you know what I mean? So, so that probably was an interest from my childhood, and then also, you know, the magic of childhood, and, and working with young, especially non-professional actors, mm -hmm. It was very exciting, you know, we, we didn't show them the whole script, we worked in chronological order, everything was new every day. I mean, that was such a tough film to make, that catcher. No one trusted us, I was a first time feature maker, I'd only made, the longest short was like 15 minutes, maybe less. Um, I insisted on my cameraman, he'd never shot a feature, my editor had never done a feature, and I, the financiers were very nervous, they were like, what are this bunch of students doing, you know? Um, and trying to get me to make it, maybe get a big cameraman or a famous editor, and I was with like, age, with that age and in that world and being a woman. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was pretty tough. Yeah, yeah. and it was actually the children in that film because they had such a great time. Like you know, I mean, I had to direct some of these kids because like you know, it was you were very much speaking to them like an adult. You know, like especially those kids that were like you know fooling about and they'd been in yeah. juvie and stuff. Like I, I, I remember I was like. Yeah. You know, just you know, you don't go. Oh yeah, can you do that? You know, like it was like so. But we just loved each other. There was a kind of, to me, it was. There were some days in that film when me and the cameraman were just in despair, we're like you know, just the pressure we were under. Yes. Uh, the insurance bond came down because it rained every day. There was no weather cover, it, and so it was like raining, raining, raining. And the script was a hot summer or something. But of course, it wasn't. Sure. Like that. You are the living proof that yeah. what is an independent film it looks yeah. like. Yes, that's independent. Yeah. And it's changing along these years. For example, I don't know, maybe for example, your vision as a film director, as a storyteller, yeah. Yeah, has yeah. changed yeah. becoming a mother? Well, yeah, I guess it has. I mean, probably you'll see that more in the future. She's only four and she was, you know, I think I wrote, started writing this script. I was pregnant when I was writing, you were never really here actually. It was quite fun, dude. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, but yeah, I think it does. I think the great thing about it, being a mother, is like, it's just seeing, um, 
the, the sense of bringing a sense of play again into your work. I think when I first started, I felt so under pressure, you know, like, um, you know, I, I remember Rat Catcher was, you know, the DP and I were just literally in despair. We were like, please make this end. I want this to end. I never want to make anything ever again. What a horrible experience. And it was, those, like I say, those kids that got me through. And um, How many days and, was the, the shooting? Actually, we, I think it was, it was much better than it is now. Now they want all these shoots to be done so tight. And it's a real shame because like you don't get as much chance to explore or you know but i think we had about 35 days or something mm -hmm. so it was quite because we were using all those act known actors um it might have been less maybe it was 32 or something like that but i don't remember exactly but it was longer than you get now because of the kids hours and stuff like that um do you like rehearsals or do you like improvisation how do you manage with your I, actors I don't, I don't normally I've worked with both non-professional actors and, and actors and it's a kind of slightly different process and it's different for every person as well. But I don't really do rehearsals and all all the actors I've worked with don't really do rehearsals either. But what we do do is we, like, Joaquin turned up two months before we were shooting and I, I was nervous because I had so much to do. I had 250 locations to see and driving all over New York, it takes a long time. I'd but it depends on the films or it depends on the actor? Well, he's a particular actor and, it, like, and he questions everything, you know, in a brilliant way, really in a creative way. But yeah, it was terrifying. It was like, oh my God, what am I, I've got five minutes out of it. Like, but him coming really made that film. It was like we talked every weekend, we talked every moment. I'd be running around with my computer saying, oh, I've got this amazing idea. And, and we, you know, it was like I'd just met like a brother or something. Like he, he likes to work this similar way. Um, what do you like? about your sets how do you, how is your set environment well, i just love it when uh, i mean this one was great because the last one was great um all the filmmakers on it were really young you know like uh, uh, they were all like i think the oldest person was like 32 or something you know and it was and we shot this as much again in chronological order so they were they were super inspiring because they were like oh wow what's going to happen next and they were into it and that, that makes you feel really great as well as a director but I, I love my set to be a really cool happy place and, and a focused place as well you know um, it, it was extremely focused um, but we had a blast and but we didn't want it to end we did, you know we were, is, is the same focus for example when you shoot something about Kevin or some yeah. when you shoot the uh, this one the last one yeah. is the same environment really uh, well, for you well, every film film's different. Probably the, the one I had the worst time was Ratcatcher because that was the first feature and it was the pressure was immense. Um, the, uh, we need to talk about Kevin was an amazing set. I mean, we were like, it was like clockwork that thing, and we hung out together at night. So considering that was a, like, a quite a dark film, it was like this way of release, you know, and. Um, it was beautiful experience making that, um, but every film's different. Um. Okay, next challenge, next project. What is your next challenge for picking up and next uh, the next story? What? Ooh, well, it's it's quite hard, difficult. I'm finding that now. That's what I'm thinking about. I mean, it's good being here. Like I'm seeing lots of films, and it makes you inspired, and you're like, well, what is it? And it, you know, I've been thinking about comedy a bit, and things like, or, you know, like something. It's probably going to be a dark, twisted comedy, right? Enough, but like just. Just lots of thoughts, lots of ideas. I wrote 160 pages in a month, but I didn't read it yet. <laughs> How many? 160. 160. It was like free writing. I started. It was an idea Joaquin and I talked about. I, I can. I can wait to see. Oh, Thank cool, you very much. cool. Thank oh, you. Thanks Thank you very, very much. much. Thank no, it was lovely to meet you. Thank nice you. To meet you. Yeah.